have developed a search strategy, you can begin looking for articles in library databases. When you use databases, you can be confident that the information you are finding is from a credible source. The library subscribes to a wide variety of databases. Watch the Accessing Library Databases video to learn how to view all of the databases the library subscribes to. This video will focus on the two primary business article databases available through Anderson Library, ABI Informed Complete and Business Source Complete. When searching library databases, it's a good idea to use the Advanced Search option. This is because databases don't work in the same way as Google. If you type your full research question into the search box like you might do with Google, you won't get good results. You might not get any results. Databases use something called Boolean, which requires you to connect keywords together with AND, OR, and NOT. When you use the Advanced Search option, you won't have to type these connector words. They will already be in place for you. For example, if I click the Advanced Search option in ABI Inform Complete, I can enter one keyword per line. My research question is, does corporate social responsibility positively impact customer loyalty? My main keywords are corporate social responsibility and customer loyalty, so I'll type those into the boxes. Notice that I use quote marks around both phrases. This tells the database that I wanted to find my exact phrase, so instead of finding customer and loyalty somewhere in the article, it will find both those words directly next to each other. You can see the AND is already built into my search. You can change the drop-down to OR or NOT depending on your research needs. Use OR if you are searching two words that are very similar. For example, I could put customer loyalty or customer satisfaction. While not exact synonyms, those words are similar enough that it would be useful for the database to retrieve any articles that contain either one of those phrases. ABI Inform builds the OR into the advanced search, so I can just enter customer satisfaction to the second line. Use NOT if there are words you do not want to be included in your search results. For instance, I could try NOT sustainability. See that my search retrieved over 3,000 results. That's way too many to sort through, so I need to use some of the options in the database to narrow my search. On the left side, I can narrow my search to just peer-reviewed articles if that is a requirement of my assignment. I can also limit to a specific source type if I only want to see scholarly journals or trade publications, for example. Sometimes changing the date range can be helpful as well. Also, I'll take a look at the subject section. This gives me suggested keywords that I might want to add to my search. Once I find an article I'm interested in, I can click the title of the article to get more information. I see an abstract, which is a brief summary of the article near the top. Always read this before you read the whole article because it will highlight the main points and give you an idea of whether the article will be relevant to your research. Sometimes you will see the full text directly beneath the summary. I can also click the full text PDF option to read the article, save it, or print it out. Sometimes there is no PDF option and instead you will see the find it button. Click this to determine whether or not we have access to the article in another database. Note the options near the top of the page allowing me to email the article to myself and create a citation. Always be sure to cite your sources to avoid plagiarism. You will want to double check any citations you get from databases or other online citation generators because they're not always perfect. For information on creating APA citations, check out the How to Cite Using APA Style video. Searching Business Source Complete will look a little different, but it has almost exactly the same features. Click the Advanced Search option and note that there are still three search boxes with the AND already built into the search. Click the AND to change to OR or NOT. When I perform my search, I retrieve 97 results. Again, I can use the options along the side to narrow my search as needed. See that I can still limit to scholarly, peer-reviewed sources and change the date range. I can also use the subject thesaurus term and subject sections to add keywords to my search. When I click the title of an article, I can read the abstract to determine if the article is relevant to my research topic. If it is, I can click the PDF or Find It button if no PDF is available in the upper left corner. Clicking the PDF option will allow me to read the article, save it, or print it out. I have options along the right side to email the article to myself and create a citation. 
If you are having trouble finding articles for your assignment, stop by the Reference Desk in Anderson Library for help. Thank you.